Hello, I'm Jess Malone and you're not. Uh, I bet you can't tell me where that came from. It's from an old uh, show that was on Saturday night and uh, one of the guests opened up the little news session with that. He said his name and then he said to the audience and you're not. So that, that's where I got that from. I won't spoil it. If you know who it is, you can make a comment about it. If not, that's fine too. Um, this is chat session number uh, 60, uh, December 30th, 2017, uh, Saturday night, about 11.30 p.m. And we're going to go right into the uh, tidbits of history. Going to 1922. In post-revolutionary Russia, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republic, the USSR, is established comprising a confederation of Russian, Belarusic, Ukraine, and the Transcaucasian Federation, divided in 1936 into the Georgian, Azerbaijan, and Armenian Republics, also known as the Soviet Union. The new communist state was the successor to the Russian Empire and the first country in the world to be based on a Marxist socialism. The government collapsed, dissolved the Soviet Union in 1991. Um, we had all our <clears throat> Cold War stuff, the communists took over and blah blah, and uh, <clears throat> this was since 1922, the Soviet build-up, all this stuff, they uh, kept pace with us. They were the first country to put a uh, satellite, in, you know, going around the Earth, Sputnik, in 1959. Uh, there's been this Cold War uh, aspect that we were always trying to keep up with them with nuclear weapons and different things and over the years and then it all stopped in 1991 when the, the uh, Soviet Union dissolved so that's that little bit of history and then we go right to 1968 and this is a little music uh, trivia uh, within a year they'd be big within two years they'd be huge and within three years they'd be the biggest band in the world the quartet of British rockers preparing for their fifth, uh, their fifth, what? I don't even know what it says. For their fifth uh, gig in the United States, were were using propane heaters to keep themselves and their equipment warm while they they waited to go on as the opening act for Vanilla Fudge at a concert in a frigid college gymnasium in a Western uh, Washington state. The spokesman review of Spokane ran an ad uh, that said uh, for a concert at Gonzaga University featuring the Vanilla Fudge with Lynn Zeflin. <clears throat> a concert of which a bootleg recording would later emerge that represents the first ever live Led Zeppelin performance captured on tape. Um, Led Zeppelin was huge. They uh, defined uh, there was already rock music at that time in 68 but they they took it and opened it up to so many different levels. Um, how all the comments about him taking the bow out for his guitar and playing his guitar with a cello bow. Um, everybody was just amazed at all the new sounds and different things that Led Zeppelin brought to the table. And of course, John Bonham was one of the better drummers of his time. Um, and they became huge. But anyway, okay, uh, enough about that now. Uh, this is uh, we're almost four minutes in, so I'm gonna turn the uh, camera over to a guest that's uh, been on the show before, and this is her second appearance on chat session number sixty. Erica, my daughter. Erica. I'm sorry, the phone's falling down. You need to put that it's there to hold it. And just, can you see? Yeah. All right, so you. it's all Erica's now. Mm. Hey guys, how are y'all? Whatever. Anyways, I just want to wish everyone a happy new year. I know it's a little early, but whatever y'all's resolution is, I hope it comes true and all that bloop, bloop, whoop, whoop, bullshit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Doing good. That's all I have to say, because, like I said, I have nothing to say. What did you do today? Nothing really. Yeah, you did. I don't remember. You can say it. 
Oh shit! <laughs> you can say what you did. So we went fucking shopping with mom and the gr Alex. Oh, sorry. Man. I'm sorry. I'm an in and out person, and they like to fucking look at everything, and it was just very exciting. <laughs> Why? Because, like I said, there's just so many people there, and I just wanted to get in and out, and they wanted to look at everything. And okay. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm not a big shopper like they are. <laughs> well, okay. And then what? Nothing, Anything else? Nothing really. We just watched movies and cooked and cleaned and took all this Christmas shit down finally. Yeah. Took it all down. All right. What's, how much time is on the clock now? I don't know, but right bye, there. guys. How much time is it? I don't there? know. Bye. Have a good time. Here's Jess. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. You only were on for two minutes, Erica. <laughs> uh, that was Erica, our second time on the chat sessions. Um, she'll be on a few more, I'm sure, before it's all said and done. And getting her a little taste of what a media empire looks like when it just gets started so here we are We're starting off with our phone no equipment but one day we'll move up to the next step and have a real chat session a real interview real stuff but for now this is where we are so it's the way it is um, <clears throat> not political except for one thing that I'm an anarchist that <laughs> that uh People have a lot of money. People don't have a lot of money. It's so irrelevant um, when it comes to how you treat people, because the richest people can be jerks, the poorest people can be jerks, and the and the rich people can be kind, and the poorest people can be kind. It's all a choice. The money has nothing to do with it. It's about the person. And money doesn't make a per um, person important. It just makes them rich. And our attitude is everything. So if that helps clear what I say when I say money's nothing, it's because we still have a choice to treat each other correctly, whether we have a lot of money or no money. And so, again, for me, money doesn't make the man important. It's how they treat other people. That's what matters. That's just my opinion. People have different opinions about how we should treat people. Some people are hostile, some people are way too kind, um, and everything in between. So, it's a never-ending battle um, that I think only with practice and with perseverance of, of character can we reach that spot where people will actually mean uh, to treat people with respect and not just do it because they're told to, or because it's you see what everybody else does they can just do it because it's the right thing to do so anyway okay we're going to go back to erica now why okay and she's going to close out a little bit we're going to just chat some more so come on come on <laughs> you're just going to sit there and say nothing no i'm just saying like so, like I said earlier, I'm an anarchist, and I think it's funny my dad talks about the government and stuff like that, but I really could care less about that bullshit. Just bring it down and have chaos. <laughs> why not? <laughs> well, there's a lot of reasons why not. We have our I can't views. run as fast as I used to be able to with my hobble leg. And if there's, no, if there's chaos, I might not make it. You know, I used to think about bringing it down for the good to help people and this and that. And yeah, that's what I want to do, but... Sometimes you just want to watch the world burn because it just <sighs> so much bullshit. Yeah, just remember everything you're saying here is going on forever, and you just need to uh, understand how people may perceive that. You have to like have clarity in your purpose. Or I guess you don't have to. Some people don't, but um, you should have clarity in your in your. Where That's why I don't get into this politics bullshit because I don't give a fuck, honestly. Hey, 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 hey. we got to watch our mouth. These are family. Some kids might see these. You never know. Have to like bleep, take bleep, it bleep, easy. bleep, 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 yeah. <laughs> right. so bleep. We're done with that. All right, we're going to shut it down. This has been chat session number 60. Um, Erica has a guest. 
It's our se second time to be on. She was a little more explicit this time <laughs> than last time, but that's fine. All right. Well, this is it. Uh, let's be truthful, be happy, and let's look out for each other, okay? Rock on. And Seattle Seahawks win tomorrow. And my picks are made. I just haven't put them on video yet. Bye.